This video I'm going to be showing you how to throw close hooks. Very important punch for boxers, very important punch for MMA fighters, and also a good punch to add to your arsenal if you do any type of fitness on the heavy bag or on the sentry bob. So we're going to start off with no gloves on, we're going to go real soft on the sentry bob, and this is more of a boxing scenario. So this is when you're close against your opponent, throwing short punches, you can use those close hooks opposed to throwing a wide hook and looping it around, you're gonna come from the jaw to the jaw, okay? So you're gonna leave your jaw, line up with his jaw, elbow comes up, fist is level. So when you land this punch, your palm is facing down, okay? Get a real good angle in the arm, and this punch is gonna go right through your opponent's jaw, temple, eye, or nose, okay? Good spots to target are the jaw and the temple. Good knockout spots for boxers. Here. You see my hand isn't traveling very far. I'm leaving the jaw, turning over, and delivering the shot. Okay? The power comes from the body, comes from the hip, letting that front foot follow. In boxing, you want to be very light on the heels. So the weight is off the heels. This way, when I throw that punch and I use the hip and turn the body, that front foot follows and I'm on the ball of the foot. So when you're first learning this punch, you want to go real slow, real soft, and get some repetition. That way you feel comfortable throwing this punch. Keep the elbow in, leave the jaw, lift the elbow, drive through the target, turn the hip. Let the foot follow, okay? So going real light, and just tapping your target, keeping the wrist straight, everything is strong here, okay? Driving through your target this is a real good way to start off, just nice and light, coming close to your target. If you're using a heavy bag, make sure you're targeting the side of the heavy bag, not going too wide, very close hook, okay? As you get more and more comfortable, you can start throwing a little bit harder. Once you get comfortable with the technique of the punch, you can start loading up by slipping to either side. I can slip to this side and then come back with a left hook. I can slip to this side, come back with a close right hook, okay? Nice and relaxed, you slip one way, close hook, okay? Slip the other way, close hook. If you want to add this into a combination, after you land that close hook, follow with a right uppercut. Okay. Use the body, turn, turn. Okay. Target the chin with the uppercut, target the temple or jaw or optical eye socket with the left hook here, here. So this is a very close range punch. So if I'm here, I can deliver that close right hook. Okay, if I'm here, I can deliver that close left hook, follow with an uppercut, mix it in, using the hip, using the body. Okay, in MMA, a lot of times, guys will go for that clinch, try to grab your head, that's a good time to stick them right on the chin with that close hook, follow with a close uppercut, you hit them with a very short two-punch combo with a lot of speed, and you'll land those two punches before they can take control, take that head, okay? You can land one punch and use the other hand to block that clinch. Now we're going to get a real close shot of this strike. I want you guys to really see how close of a strike this is, how fast it is, and how little time my opponent has to block this strike. important to throw these close hooks during shadow boxing. When you're shadow boxing, you really want to watch the reflection in the mirror. Make sure that you're not leaving too far from your jaw. You're not coming too wide with these hooks. So you don't want them way out here. You'll notice the angle in your arm as well. You should have a really nice 90 degree angle in that arm when you throw that punch. Leave the jaw, go through the jaw, turn the body. When my fist is here, imagine my arm is attached to my hip and the arm only goes because of the hips, so there's no shoulder 
in this punch. This punch is all from the body, okay? I'm just changing the positioning of my arm, I'm lifting the elbow, and really popping the elbow with speed. When you land this punch while shadow boxing, you really wanna see that your arm is nice and level from the elbow to the fist, driving straight through your target. This is gonna help you out a lot when you're shadow boxing as well. So these are things to watch for, and we always gain a lot of improvement from shadow boxing because we can watch our reflection in the mirror. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you take a lot away from it. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to Pride Martial Arts. Every Thursday, we're going to have more MMA videos, so be sure to keep an eye out for those.